Mr. Udall? Mm-hmm. Have you, have, you, uh, have you seen Verdell? What does he look like? Uh, my dog. You know, my... <laughs> oh, I got it. You were talking about your dog. Yeah. I thought it was the name of that colored man that I've been seeing in the halls. Which color was that? Uh, like, uh, thick molasses, uh, with a broad nose. Perfect. Frank, for just a second. Trouble in prison food. What is it? Frank! Just like the last art party. Simon, you have got to get dressed. Frank Sachs, Melvin Udall. How you doing? Frank shows my work, Mr. Udall. I think, yeah, I think you know that. People are going to start coming. What Please. I know is as long as you keep your work zipped up around me, I don't give a rat crap what or where you shove your show. Are we done being neighbors for now? <laughs> Do you realize that I work at home? Oh, no, well, I work neighbor. all the time. So never, never interrupt me, okay? Not if there's a fire. Not even if you hear the sound of a thud from my home. And one week later, there's a smell coming from there that can only be a decaying human body. And you have to hold a hanky to your face because the stench is so thick that you think you're going to faint. Even then, don't come knocking. Or if it's election night and you're excited and you want to celebrate because some fudge packer that you date has been elected the first queer president of the United States and he's going to have you down to Camp David and you want someone to share the moment with even then don't knock not on this door police don't act matching morons help And you're black! Excuse me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't touch. Don't touch. Get out of line. It's not for me the way you love your remote control as long as I switch every time you press one of my buttons. It's great. Yeah, that's <laughs> terrific. I think I'm people really that talk in metaphors ought to shampoo my crotch. Eat up. <laughs> I've got Jews at my table. Hi. It's not your table. It's the place's table. Behave. This once you can sit at someone else's station. <gasps> Or you can wait your turn. You have feelings. Well, yes. Uh, How much more you got to eat? I, Appetites aren't as big as your noses, huh? What? How old are you? Huh. I was gonna guess by your eyes, I'd say you were 50. If I went by your eyes, I'd say you were kind, so... So much for eyes, but as long as you bring up age, how old are you? Oh, no, no, well, you not, you brought it in up. other words, no, I'm curious. In other words, you're not, not that you're ugly. That's what <laughs> I'm easy, easy, pal. I can take the compliment. But my knees start knocking when you turn on the charm. Full blast. Shut up, kids! What the heck do you mean? Look, elephant girl, just, just go, go get Carol or something, huh? Just have her do my one meal here. I, you know, I'll pay whatever you want. Uh, I'll wait. Do it! Ah! I'm not a prick. You are. I'm not judging. I'm a great customer. This day has been a disaster. Now, on a pleasant note, my son, he just got accepted to Brown. My husband was dying. Uh, yeah, good, nice, uh, thrilled, exciting. Uh, you, you don't have to wait with me. You have no idea what your work means to me. What does it mean to you? When somebody out there knows what it's like to be in here. Oh, God, this is like a nightmare. Oh, come on, just a couple of questions. How hard is that? How do you write women so well? I think of a man, and I take away reason and accountability. Is he dead yet? No. Uh. Even things like this happen for the best. 
Where do they teach you to talk like this? In some Panama City sailor want a hump hump bar? Or is this getaway day and your last shot at his whiskey? Sell crazy someplace else. We're all stocked up here. Rot in hell, Melvin. No need to stop being a lady. Quit worrying. You'll be back on your knees in no time. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, let's not drag this out. We don't enjoy one another that much. If there is some mental health foundation that raises money for people like you, please be sure to let me know. Last word, freak. Bye-bye. Good luck, lady. I want you to go on this trip. <laughs> no, sir. I can't do this without you. I'm afraid he might pull the stiff one eye on me. I need you to chaperone. Separate everything but cars. You said you like convertibles. Now I'm on the hook. I'm sorry. The stiff one eye? I. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, Carol the waitress, Simon the fag. Can I ask you a personal question? <laughs> sure. Ever get an erection over a woman? Sir? No, I'm not putting that on. And in case you were going to ask, I'm also not going to let you inject me with the play it's either. It's such a nice place. Can we order first? Okay. Um, uh, two hard shell crab dinners, pitcher ice cold beer, uh, baked or fries. 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 One baked, one fried. I'll tell your waiter. You want to dance? Well, I've been thinking about that since you brought it up before. And? No. I don't get this place. They make me buy a new outfit. They let you in in a house dress. I don't get it. Wait, well, no, wait, why? Where are you going? Now, why? I mean, I screwed up. I said the wrong thing. <sighs> or if I hadn't, I, I could be in bed right now with a woman who, if you make her laugh, you got a life. Instead, I'm here with you. No offense, but a moron pushing the last legal drug. Uh, Jameson soda bag.